Hey guys, Mac here from Miners Leisure World. Today we're looking at the 2021 Connect 261 RL. There's a lot of ground to cover because Connect has changed a lot for the 2021 models, which I'm really excited about. So let's jump into it with the very front. Of course, they're still doing the power tongue jack, dual tanks, good, good room at the back for a couple batteries, as well as a battery disconnect at the front. Um, they're going back to the three-quarter molded front cap. I'm really happy about that. But they've also added this front windshield. This is an automotive grade glass windshield. Very, very durable, nice dark tint, plus a covering on the inside. This is gonna really help the feel in the master bedroom. So I'm excited for that. And then the LED brow light on the front just looks really sharp too. If we look at the side, they've gone to a bright white exterior fiberglass. This is a gel coat exterior, so it's going to hold that color a really long time and not fade or chalk. Uh, we are Furion solar panel prepped, and we've got great pass-through baggage compartment here. Uh, the door's nice and thick, still doing the magnetic door catches, and they're still doing the key to like system for those people that like that too. Uh, a couple of additions in the baggage compartment, they have added some clips for your cranks for all of the jacks, so they're a little more organized. And they're carrying on with the winterization station. You might see that black box in the back left corner. That's where the water pump and winterization hose is located. Carrying down on the camp side of this coach, you'll see entrance number one of two. With entrance number one, we're going into the master bedroom, so dual access, that's gonna be really nice. Uh, they're doing the standard black painted step on the front entrance, because it's not gonna be used as often. Still doing the 12 volt power awning, outdoor speakers, LED light strip under the awning, and then this really cool long window here on the campsite, so you can keep an eye on what's going on in your own campsite. Still doing the power access, the outdoor coax hookup, all the standard stuff we're used to seeing, tandem axle design. Um, they're still using the nice uh, uh, Equiflex suspension system from LCI too. This actually helps balance out those leaf springs and provides you a smoother pull on the road, so that's a great feature to see too. At our back main entrance is where we're going to see a few more things. The screen door is outfitted with the screen shot close assist and then the LCI solid steps for your main entryway because these are going to be used more often. These don't have any bounce, no sag. These are by far the best steps out there. All right, so a couple standard things to see on the back side is the mounted ladder to access the fully walkable roof. That's really nice to see. Uh, that roof membrane really quick is a PVC membrane with 15 year warranty. Uh, not to mention the two year bumper to bumper warranty on this Connect. That's incredible. We're also backup camera prep so you can get the aftermarket system. We do have the square bumper off the back for accessories if you want, but Connect has already gone ahead and added in the two inch receiver on the bottom for accessories. Now this is not rated for towing. You don't really want to tow with a, a, a travel trailer. Coupler to coupler is not great, but the accessory rack advantage is huge, especially straight from factory. That's a huge value to you. So we just stepped foot in the Connect 261 RL and there's a lot of great new stuff to cover here. Of course, all new aesthetic. We really updated the Connect and I'm super happy with it. I'm also appreciating this nice tall ceiling height. Uh, the Connects don't feel as closed in anymore. They feel really nice, airy, open, I'm really happy. So first off, back wall. We've got our main controls up in this left top hand corner. Out of sight, out of mind for little hands. Um, they're not going to get messed with. We've got a couple of tables on either side of the theater seats here. These are a manual recline theater seat, but they've got some cool updated features. So very durable, uh, soft touch vinyl feel. I think this fabric's going to last a good long time. We've got our controls for massage and heat right here, as well as USB ports for charging on both sides. Really easy access. In the center here, this portion flips up and down, you know, so you can have that extra harm rest, the cup holders, which are really handy. And in the center is some extra power access. I think they're catching on to something here. There's a common theme. 360 degree windows are nice, as well as the extra 110 volt outlets on the back wall. Um, power is not an issue in this trailer. <laughs> Let's take a look at the only slide out on this coach. And in it, you're going to find our large u dinette. This is a very long u dinette. You're gonna fit a lot of people at this very easily. I think the table's an appropriate size. It's not so big that you have no room, but not so small that you can't put anything on it. And it's styled very nicely too. Again, kind of a faux live edge. They've sealed the edges, so it's not gonna peel back on you. Um, really beautiful table, more big windows, and quick access storage underneath. Always love to see that. KZ loves to throw in these bins for us too. And you can use these a uh, hundred different ways, however you need to. 
All right, so more cool stuff to show you. Up next is the entertainment stand. So the TV here is on a swivel mount. You can swing it all the way around for the back chairs or have it directly across for the U dinette. Uh, maybe you took the table out, you're using it like a lounger. That would be a great idea. Uh, underneath that is a small porthole window onto our campsite. Lots of prep space, again, with a sealed edge countertop. And below that, our entertainment system with electric fireplace. What's cool about this electric fireplace is it is a space heater. So it's actually kicking heat out right now, which I really appreciate. But in behind it, Connect realized they could utilize the extra space provided. So maybe this is a good utility closet. You have an extra little vacuum or whatever you want to stash back there. Um, this is otherwise wasted space, no longer wasted. So kudos to Connect. I haven't seen much like this before. I'm sure a lot of people are going to appreciate that though. Further back, our main kitchen area. L-shaped kitchens always give tons of counter space. Uh, there's that big long porthole window, nice backsplash here. Uh, the three burner cooktop is the Furion style, so very safe, updated, new, and uh, we've got a great bank of drawers here as These well. These drawers are riding on full roller ball glides, so they roll very smoothly, just like at home. They click in very positively, and we're still getting that big farm sink that we're used to over the last couple years. This time, a beautiful residential faucet. I'm sure anybody would even want in their home. Up top, I think it's really important to note, Connect is diligent on making sure these top cabinets are deep enough to stack dinner plates. So you don't have to put them on a funny angle or a special rack for them. They will stack just like normal at home. Uh, a lot of people like to ask me that question. Right across from our main kitchen area in the slide out is our fridge. This is an eight cubic foot Norcold two-way refrigerator. So this runs on propane and 110 volt gas. Uh, you see nice large fridge compartment, standard size freezer. So we just stepped foot in the bathroom. This is a mid bath design on this coach. Couple of pocket doors to preserve all your foot space, which I really like. Uh, beside the shower here is going to be our main linen closet. This is where you're going to stack all of your towels and everything. There are three main shelves. They're very deep, very tall. You can customize them any way you like. The shower itself, again, great height thanks to that tall ceiling. Lots of elbow room. Um, nothing to complain about with this shower whatsoever. They're utilizing the Nautilus shower door screen. We've been seeing that a lot. Uh, the toilet is a foot flush porcelain bowl toilet. Love to mention that too. That's a good upgrade. And then with our sink and vanity, there's the mirrored medicine cabinet with storage. Standard sink, a little bit of storage underneath it. And then right beside, some extra cubbies and a length of countertop extending through the wall. Uh, I really like this extra counter space. If you're, uh, you know, a couple people trying to get ready in the morning, you've got some new sites to hit up and you want to look fancy, everything can be out in the bathroom and it's not a big hassle. It's not in the way. Overall, this bathroom is very large. So if you do have a guest sleeping on the really large U dinette in the back that's tagging along with you, this can be their change room. It's very comfortable, very easy to make do with. Um, so I like to note that too. It's very spacious in here. Last but not least, the master bedroom in the very front of the coach. You're going to notice something different about the bed. The Connects have gone to a standard RV king size bed. That's it. That's what you get. So this is going to be an in-between size. It's a little bit wider than a standard queen, but it's the same residential length. So it's very easy to get coverings for these beds and, and upgrade them. Uh, if we look at the head of the bed, there's that covering over the front windshield that I mentioned. If you really want to make this feel bigger, you can open that up. And then we've got a couple of cubbies. Uh, there's shelves on each side, so two levels and USB ports as well as 110 volt outlets. So if you bring a CPAP machine along or something like that, you have a very convenient spot for it or if you just like to charge your phone by the bed. As for storage, the top cubby is open. It does have a nice lip here. Um, so you can maybe secure that somehow with a uh, elastic netting or something like that. And on either side, we're still getting the normal hanging space. It's just a little narrower because of the larger bed. But fortunately, with the larger bed comes a larger under bed storage. So the foot of the bed lifts up still. You can see it's all that much wider and you can organize that any way you need to, bins or racks or however. So last thing I'll mention for the master bedroom is there is still a TV hookup location. You can see the backer there. There's the hookups up above on the ceiling above. And uh, this is prepped for the King Wi-Fi booster system. So all the wiring's in place, but if you wanna get that actual unit, just talk to us. Uh, we can talk to you about Wi-Fi in your trailer, whether you're boosting or self-generating a signal. We're happy to help you out. All right, so this has been my walkthrough of the new 2021 Connect 261 RL. As you can see, there's been a ton of updates. Some key things to remember, 
We've got the new exterior, the new front molded cap with front windshield, upgraded furnishings throughout, uh, lots of great options like the electric fireplace with storage, the upgraded fridge size, a wonderful size bathroom. Overall, this is just a knockout couples coach uh, floor plan. If you're towing with a half ton, you like to travel around a lot, this is probably the camper for you. Uh, if you have more questions, make sure to reach out to us online at minorsleisureworld.com. We also have our YouTube channel where you can watch more videos like this. And keep in mind, we have two locations now to serve you better. There's one in Watchers as well as here in Weyburn, Saskatchewan. Look forward to meeting you soon.